Have you ever had a dream that you were standing there with a celebrity, talking to them, just like they were a normal person? That's my friend Scott. That's me. And that guy in the middle? Yeah. That's Johnny Depp. But wait, we're getting ahead of ourselves. How could we, three nobodies from Denver, Colorado, get a multi-million dollar a picture actor to look at our obscure, unfunded, independent screenplay? We had no budget, we had no representation, but we had a story. I was burned when I was nine weeks old, most of my childhood in a hospital having skin grafts. The more we researched Johnny Depp, the more we became convinced that he was the perfect mix of actor and musician to play this role. Scott Baxendale, the subject of our film, would build Depp a one-of-a-kind $4,000 custom electric guitar because in the back of the guitar would be a special chamber that housed and displayed our movie script. I just think that's completely original. We're trying to find Johnny Depp. Well, he lives in the south of France. Mr. Depp isn't available, is he? No, can I help you? I'm not supposed to say this. He's going to kill me. He's actually staying in my house right now. He doesn't even live here no more. He lives yeah. in Paris. We had left behind a letter and pictures of the guitar at Johnny's house, but we hadn't gotten a call back. I mean, it cost us, what, 500 to get to L.A. and back and live on SpaghettiOs for a week? Documentary about getting a custom-made guitar to Johnny Depp. I just got off the phone with Johnny Depp's sister. What, is, what does that mean? The hardest thing in the world seems to be to get to an artist on an artist to artist basis. Somebody took our idea. I can't even believe we can't even leave something behind. You know, even if Johnny Depp tells us Says, to go f off or something. Put me in your documentary now saying, yeah, we also got stopped for terrorism. All right. <laughs> if right. we can't make it happen this trip, we're done. Go, go, go!